I'm Kevin Cameron and I want to talk about the changes that the motorcycle has undergone in the last 40 years. I would like to begin with the Muzzy Superbike of the early 1980s. Muzzy's best engine made something like 152 horsepower at 10,250 RPM and the current Kawasaki Superbike which is based on the ZX-10 makes more like 220 horsepower at 14,750 RPM. If you go through the math, you find out that both engines are filling their cylinders approximately equally well. The difference is in how fast those two engines can do it. That classic Kawasaki Z-based engine was a real transitional design because it had plain bearings with inserts supporting its two camshafts modern automotive practice and yet it had an all ball and roller crankshaft that was pressed together out of pieces that was classical and that pressed together crankshaft was set a limit so things started to go bad in a hurry at 11,000 with that 1982 engine it had started life as a perfectly satisfactory production design it had been taken to the races for which it was never intended and it found its limit there. The pressed together crankshaft really didn't like to rev above 10,500. But in the case of the ZX-10, it has a forged steel crankshaft made in one piece. It has insert multi-layer bearings that are durable and vibration damping. It has split and bolted connecting rods and it has a reliable oil system that has been designed so that no matter what the motorcycle is doing, the oil pump does not get air. Air is the enemy of plane bearings at high RPM. Imagine squirting air at 60 pounds per square inch into a bearing. What does it do? It sneezes the oil out. Without oil, the bearing spins. What it means is that the inserts welded themselves to the crankshaft and spun around with it. It's not a pretty sight. So, the great advance of 50% in horsepower from the 152 of 1982 to the 220 or more of the present day is because today's engine is strong enough to remain reliable at much higher RPM.